Hi everybody, I'm photographer Howard Grill. And for some time now I've been interested in perhaps making videos for a YouTube channel. But I never have, simply because I always felt that the videos needed to be perfect. Beautiful titles, beautiful lighting, beautiful color grading. And I'm a still photographer, it's not the sort of thing that I usually do a lot of. But I realized that if I wait for perfection, this is never going to happen. So I decided I have my iPhone, I have a couple simple lights, I'll make some videos with simple equipment, see what happens and see where it takes me. So I decided to jump right in. What would I like to make videos about? Well, I'd like to talk about creative inspiration a lot. Places where you can get ideas and inspiration for your own work. Also, perhaps review some equipment related to the creative process and also make some Photoshop tutorials uh, about techniques that I use in my own work. Things like texturing, things like compositing. Uh, some things that would be interesting and a little out of the ordinary, perhaps, compared to straight photography. Although we might cover some of that too. Uh, I hope to make a video maybe every week or two. So if this sounds something that you might be interested in, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe so I can get some viewers. Um, so let's jump right in. Today, what I'd like to talk about is Living the Photo Artistic Life magazine, which I think is really a great source of ideas and inspiration that you can incorporate into your own work. So let's have a look. So I wanted to show you Living the Photo Artistic Life magazine, which is really an incredible and free inspirational resource. I mean, there's some really incredible photography and digital manipulation in this particular magazine. And we're up to issue number 62. All the issues are free to download. You can pay if you want a printed issue, but take a look at the magazines. They're all free. And I'm going to skip to issue 44, which happens to be one of my favorites because both myself and a good friend of mine uh, happen to be in it. But uh, you can see, if we open it up, that there really is some incredible imagery that's published here. And it really goes through all sorts of genres uh, in terms of types of images, from landscapes to wildlife to fashion. And there's really some, some wonderful images here that one can get inspiration from. I'm not going to show every single page here. Uh, let me skip over to a page that has two of my images. Oop, ready to go. Here we go. Uh, these were originally straight photograph. This was a straight photograph that was combined with textures and some text and some Photoshop brushes. Uh, and this is a composite. But there's also some all sorts of great images uh, that you can really get inspired from and get ideas from. Um, here's more abstract looking watercolor images. And each image, each issue is really chock full of great ideas that one could pull from in terms of your own uh, image creation. Let me skip over real quickly and show you my buddy Bob Egan's photo, which happens to be in this issue as well, his October sunrise image. Uh, and again, these issues are all free and really uh, a very good source of ideas. So. I think it's really a great thing to take advantage of and to use as a source of ideas. So uh, I'd like to make some more of these uh, videos. And so if you'd like to be sure to receive my next one, just go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.